That's wicked good, man. Wicked good. Yes. Thanks for joining me. Here we are backstage at Royal Albert Hall in London, England. It's just beautiful being here, and I wanted to show you what it looks like backstage. Everybody's like super excited. You can see the trunks out everywhere. People like that guy right there, he's like talking to his family on his iPad. Um, squeezing in whatever we can, you can see that the, the narrow hallway is that way because all of our trunks, which they brought from Boston, are there with our instruments and our wardrobes. The first place I want to show you, walking past all this video equipment, is how beautiful, just absolutely beautiful the hall is. This is Royal Albert, Albert Hall, and this is what we got to stare at all concert long. We played the Dean Trunk Concerto and we played Mahler 6 and it was a full house, standing room on the main floor and then everybody's seated, just kind of stadium style seating all the way back and, and of course the orchestra is as well. These are really steep risers, much steeper than what I'm used to uh, and so I'm essentially playing over the tops of the heads of my colleagues and uh, it, it was cool, it was really cool. The sound really projected out there, you could hear a nice ring in the hall, it's nothing like what I'm used to but beautiful nevertheless. Uh, right there, you can see straight back, these are the viola and the violin cases that uh, keep all of them safe as they travel via air freight uh, from Boston to the UK and then of course throughout Europe yet to come. This is the first concert that we had to play. In the background you can hear a trombone warming up. I believe that's Amanda Stewart. We're really thrilled to have her with us. She's playing trombone on the uh, on the Mahler, and then of course assisting throughout the rest of the tour. Um, there she is. And what I wanted to show you here, off to the right, is a, a cafe, a symphony cafe, just a, a just for us. And I can have a nice coffee before the concert, and and of course a pastry to keep the uh, the energy level up. One thing that I did with Gus Sebring the other day was sightseeing throughout London and I wanted to show this to you because it just seemed like a great analogy for the way that London works as a city. There's all these hidden vignettes everywhere of, of magic that just make you have to stop and wonder. And uh, this is just one of what seemed to be thousands as we walked around. We must have walked like six miles throughout the city just seeing what we could see and uh, he took my GoPro for a moment and I had to show you what he what he captured just because this is seemed to be uh, one little vignette that showed you what the entire city is like and uh, there'll be more to come hopefully I'll show you uh, videos uh, of the rest of the cities that were going on a European tour but uh, I wanted to share this with you before you went to bed so hopefully I'll see you soon take care